Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve uh, an algebra problem given a couple of triangles. So the first thing I want to show you is what these red arcs mean here and here. Okay, anytime you see this one red arc here and you find another matching one red arc right here, it means those angles are equal. In fact, they don't even have to be red. They could be any color uh, that you want. As long as you find this one has one red arc here, it matches with this one red arc here, and it means those angles are the same. So essentially what this is saying to me right now, looking at this, is that 12x plus 4y is the same as 40. Or I could say, well, I know this angle is 40, therefore this angle is also 40. Okay, so I can use that fact to write a um, math statement right away. So what I can say is, all right, 12x plus 4y is the same as 40. And that's how you would come up with a math statement like that. So uh, as you can see, and you can, I know you can read, what I'm going to be doing here in this video is finding the values of x and y. All right, so now that I have the first statement written, I have to come up with another statement. Why do I have to come up with two, which will eventually be, when I write the other one, it will be a systems of equations. Why do I have to do that? Well, because I have variable x and variable y. If I just had x, I may not need a system of equations, depending on the situation. But whenever I see these two variables, uh, I've got this expression that has x and y and this expression in x and y, Generally, that means you're going to need to write a systems of equations. The rule in math is if you have two unknowns, like x and y, those are unknown quantities, those are variables, you have to have at least that many equations to solve what you're trying to do. All right, so I've got my first equation done. How in the heck do I get this to be some sort of equation? Right now, it's just an expression. So what I'm going to do is notice that this side is a straight line. And in a straight line, there are 180 degrees. Well, how much of that have I used up so far? According to this, which is 90 degrees, that's how much I've used up, 90 degrees. So that makes this one automatically also 90 degrees. Okay, so why does that help me? Because I know that this one is 90 this one is 40. This one's 40, so is that. So what I can do is figure out what this angle right here is by doing this. 180, that's the total number of degrees in a triangle, minus 90, minus 40. And when I do that, I get 50. So this angle right here, even though it's given by 17x minus y, the actual measure of it, I was able to find it as 50. So, because I know that now, I can write the second equation that I need. 17x minus y equals 50. So with that, I now have my systems of equations. In another video, I'll talk in much more detail about systems of equations and methods for solving them. But for right now, just know that I'm going to use elimination on this one. One, because I like elimination. Two, because I notice that I have a plus something y here and a minus. I've got two different signs here and here on the y. If I had two different signs on the x, I would probably try and do something with those if it wasn't unreasonable. But this looks like it's going to be really easy. If I can make this a negative 4y, then I can go ahead and eliminate this variable which I can do really easily by multiplying this entire bottom equation by four. And yes, you have to do this to both sides because whatever you do to one side, you better do to the other to keep things equal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write this equation first. Four times 17x is 68x. Four times negative y is minus four y. 50 times four well, 5 times 4 is 20, and I have an extra 0 here, so I'll just throw on the extra 0, 200. 
Now I don't need to do anything else to this original top equation here. I just have to rewrite it down here. And the reason is when I go ahead and add these together, and when I say add them, I do mean add straight down like this. When I do that, I notice that a minus 4y adding a 4y will cancel out those two variables or eliminate them, which is exactly what I wanted. Now I can just do 68x plus 12y, sorry, 12x, 80x is equal to 240. And when I divide both sides by 80, I get x equals 3. So straight away, I have found my value for x. And now to find the value for y, all I have to do is take this and plug it into any equation that I want. Uh, I could plug it in here to this top one or here to this bottom one, or I could even use this one here if I really wanted to. Um, really just plug it into whichever one you think is easier. I'll just go ahead and use this one because the, number, the numbers maybe are a little bit smaller. All right, so when I do that, this is what I will get. 12 times 3 plus 4y is equal to 40. 12 times 3, 12, 24, 36, plus 4y is equal to 40. Subtracting 36 from both sides, I get 4y equals 4. And dividing, I get y equals 1. So there you have it. You've got x equals 3 and y equals 1. What I would do, just to make sure, is I would take x equals 3 and y equals 1 and plug it in for not one, but both of these equations. You won't always have to do this once you get confident. For right now, you might want to check. Go ahead and plug these back in here and here and make sure that you get 40 equals 40. You know, over here, make sure you get 50 equals 50. It has to work for both. Um, I'll tell you that it does, uh, but you might want to verify that on your own. So that's how you would do this particular problem. I'm gonna show you one more example of how to do these. I'll go a little faster now that you know that I'm gonna actually do the same exact method, just in a different situation. So here we go. All right, I've got a second example where I have a very similar situation. I've got this angle is congruent to that angle. So since this one's 130, that means this one's 130 degrees. All right, um, this angle over here, since it's got two of the red marks, I'll match it up with the two red marks in the other triangle. That means these two angles are also equal. All right, so since I don't know what this one is, I can figure it out right away by doing this. There's 180 degrees in a triangle, subtract off 130 and 28. Those are my two given ones here. here. I can subtract those off here, and when I do that, I get... 22 degrees. So this angle is 22 degrees and therefore I can go ahead and write my first equation that I'll need. It's this right here. Come down here. 4x plus y is equal to 22. The reason I can write this equation is because this angle is congruent to that one and it's given by this. It's equal to that because of the two red arcs going through there. Okay, so since this one's 28, even though there's no red marks going through here, all these other angles are the same, so therefore this one is the same as this one, so I can just go ahead and write 6x minus y equals 28. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and use elimination for this one because this one is set up extremely nice. This one's even easier than the first one. Um, I have on the y's yet again a plus y and a minus y. There's nothing I have to do to these. I can go ahead and just add right now. Straight down, like this. And the reason I can do this is because I notice that plus y take away y goes to zero. And that's very helpful for me. And all I have to do is say, well, 4x plus 6x is 10x. And 22 plus 28 is 50. So already I'm at this stage and I get x equals five. 
then all you have to do is plug in this into either one. Doesn't matter. I'll probably use the top one. There's no negatives, but you can use the bottom one. No big deal if you want to do that. So here we go. 4 times 5 plus y equals 22. And when it's all said and done, this is 20. And when I subtract 20 from both sides, I get y equals 2. So that's this problem also done. You can plug these back in to verify if you want. But this is how uh, things are going to go in geometry. You're going to come up against algebra all the time. So especially with systems of equations, understandable that this might seem a little bit overwhelming. How did I know to use systems just to recap? Because I saw that it had x and y, multiple expressions for that using x and y in a single problem to me that said I better use systems of equations. These were set up pretty nice for me to do that, especially this one. All I had to do is basically write the equations. I had to do just a little bit of setup here, but then I was able to quickly get values for x, plug back into any one you want, got the value for y. Really hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching.